There's our little boy. There we go. Okay. Okay, there you go. There we go. You get to go home today. You're done. Looks like you're feeling pretty good. Yes, you do. You get to go home. Okay. Yes, you do. Such a good boy. Okay, I'll grab that hood to you, funny. Anyway, this is an adult golden eagle. It was hit by a car. It's been with us for a few days. Um, the injuries were, were not bad. It's eaten very, very well. He's pretty scuffed up. Um, but the big problem that we have is this is an adult and he's got a nest somewhere. And so we want to get him back in the wild just as quickly as we can. So he is going, going back. And uh, just a few days of observation, a little TLC and some good food is all that he's required to get him back to the wild. Okay. We, we really did not want to make this an event as much as we need to get him back to the wild as soon as we can because he's an adult, which means he's got a female with chicks. And so we wanted to make sure that we got him out here as quickly as possible. Mark is our victim today. He's going to release, the, <laughs> release this eagle. And um, ba basically, the as long as you do what I tell you, you'll be fine. <laughs> and what, what I'm going to want you to do is I'm going to get the eagle out. I'm going to get control of it. And then I'm going to turn around and hand it to you. I want you to hold your hands out like this. I'm going to put it between your, your arms. And I want you to bring your arms around. And I want you to, to grab each leg and hold on to each leg. He's very strong. And I want you to hang on to each leg, kind of hold him a little bit low. And if you're going to have him kind of wrapped up. He has a hood on so he can't see you. And, um, and then we'll walk over to the railing. And everybody can get their positions for pictures and those kinds of things. And then, and then um, do not throw him until I take the hood off. <laughs> I'll have to give you mine back, huh? <laughs> so, so I, I will take the hood off. You can hold him for as long as you want. You know, this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity for people to actually hold something that's that wild in your arms for for um, a, a, a a minute or two. And then when you're ready, you just hold him and you just kind of thrust him away from you as just as hard as you can. Oh, you know, don't hit, don't hit the rail. <laughs> Okay. Is, is there going to be any problem him finding his mate? No, because he can, you can see Hamilton Fort from here. Yeah. So so he he could find where he right where he lives from right now. And I got to be real quick about this. Go. Oh, oh, wow. oh he's beautiful. Let, let me get control of him here first. I should. I should. Oh. Okay. Now I can show you guys a little bit right here while I've got him here. Okay, 600 pounds per square inch of crushing power in those feet. That's what he kills with. You don't want those to get you. <laughs> no. Okay, the beak can bite and take large chunks of flesh, but this is what he kills with, so this is what you want to avoid. And, and I'm going to want you to hold him just like this. Okay. So that's, that's just exactly how I want him to be. And this is the safest way that you can possibly hold him. And um, you ready? I'm ready. Against your chest, get both of those feet. Okay, okay. Nice kind of, there we go. Very, very, very good. Right over to see where you are. Get out of, out of everybody's way here. <laughs> 